Hi everybody, this is Dan's with Dan's Everything Outdoors and today I'm going to talk to you about a pillow. Um, I picked up a pillow called the Climate Extra Large Pillow and here it is. This pillow is um, it's, it's a soft inflatable pillow and it is about 3.2 ounces. They say it's about the size of a wallet and it's about the size of a wallet. When I originally got it, it was a lot thinner. I could not get it back to that same size though. And the valve actually prevents you from, it, it, it makes it a little bit more bulky. But it's a great pillow, but it depends on who's gonna use it and what you're gonna use it for. So I took this pillow out, um, I hadn't tried it out yet, hadn't tested it, and I just threw it in my pack. And we went out into uh, a fishing we went out to go camping in a thunderstorm and it was a tough night because the rain caught us before we even got set up and by the time I went to bed I was super tired I was very tired but I couldn't fall asleep I had a really comfortable air mattress my hips were good I'm a side sleeper typically um, I can lay on my back as long as my legs are crossed or bent but I just could not get to sleep and uh, the pillow, this is what it looks like. I'll blow it up for you. The pillow looks like a fantastic pillow. But if you're a side sleeper, you've got to have something underneath of it because it just didn't give me enough support from my shoulder, that area. It needed to be thicker. Um, what I, the reason I bought this is because this pillow, if you see how it's designed, it's got an X in it. And that kind of allows your head to be centered on the pillow so it doesn't slip off. And that's why I got it. And also it was kind of extra big and it was small. It's a nice, it's got good ratings on it. It's got this fantastic valve here that um, has not failed yet. I've been using this for, for quite a while. And um, it only takes a few breaths to blow it up. Let me show you what it looks like. about five breaths to blow up and see how it's got that divot in the center it just wasn't thick enough to give me that and I had nothing in my tent with me to put underneath it really my backpack but it would have been way too bulky um, my shoes possibly I didn't think of that they were a little bit wet from tromping around in the rain so the only thing I could do with it was to what I did is I slept I let air out of it and I slept on it kind of like this, kind of balancing all night long. But because we had to get up at 4.30 in the morning to meet someone to go fishing, that's why we didn't finish that video and we didn't have a morning side to it. Uh, we just came back later and threw all of our gear, stuffed it all in our backpacks and split. But uh, we met somebody at 4.30 in the morning to go fishing and I think I got a total of maybe 45 minutes sleep that night. It was not a good night's sleep. Balancing it on the side and just keep changing direction. Another contributing factor, so I'm not gonna put all of that because I think I could have got comfortable if I had put something underneath of it. I think I could have got comfortable if I had this balance right and I was tired enough where the pain from my wrist did not keep me awake. I just got the cast off. I was in one of those, um, I don't even call them, those the brace support, which I had on, which was very hot, sweaty, itchy, and I had no place to put my arm as I was sleeping. So that could have been a contributing factor. So on one side, I really, really like this. The other side, I don't know if it's the best pillow for me when sleeping in a tent on a mattress. But what I wanted to do today, as I set up this hammock, is show you that I think it does work really well for a pillow for a hammock. I was at the lake the other day. We uh, were just relaxing a little bit. I had this pillow with me and I used it for my hammock. If you ever slept in a hammock, some people are perfectly fine without a, a pillow. I find that I sleep extremely well when I have a small pillow that I can blow up to whatever size I want it to be. 
obviously I had a jacket, I could put a little jacket behind my neck, but this seemed to fit the bill. And I think that I had it just a little underinflated. And for this purpose, fits nicely and it gives almost well it does give the perfect distance between for my neck and keeps my head centered and because it's got that across my head it doesn't really slip out from underneath my head while I'm sleeping and I can reach up here and lay like this I got a place to lay my arm Another place to lay my arm, a lot of times I sleep like this. So for that reason, I think I really like this pillow. But I don't know how often I'd use it on the ground. So another thing I'll mention about this pillow is that they say that it gets you can fold it back down to about the size of a wallet, which looks that way because I can put my wallet in here, but I fold this thing up as tight as I can get it, and every time I got to fight with it to stick it in this bag. So if there's anything that Climate could do on this pillow would be to make this bag a little bit bigger. You can see I've already started splitting the seams on that. I just can't get it small enough. And this material is a little stretchy, has some stretch to it, just a hair, but not enough to get it in there easily. So if they can make that change, it, it matter of fact, it has dimensions on here, 17 inches by 12 inches. Another change, would made to make this valve smaller and make me a pillow that is if this is let's say they're not giving me the thickness of it give me another two or three inches on this give me three inches so that I can let some air out of it <laughs> this would be an incredible pillow to take on the trail it's just a little bit too skinny. And I know they did that to keep the weight down. I'd be willing to do with the extra 0.3 ounces to have it more comfortable night's sleep. So comfortable. And hammocks are nice when it's a hot day because you get airflow underneath your body. And if you got a very, very small breeze, it just feels so nice. Now, I don't have a lot of breeze here because I'm very well protected by lots of trees back here. I like the valve because it looks like there's less chance of it to fail, how you can blow it up and tighten up as you're blowing it up. But it does add bulk. I've got other pillows that the valve was more or less flush with the pillow, but the valve failed really quickly. And then blowing it up was this trick of getting enough air in and getting the cap on it quick enough that you didn't lose enough air. Probably a great pillow for your car too. I think I picked this up for 29 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if you want to look at it, along with the pillow I also use, which I like a lot. But the valve did fail on that 